Welcome to Jazz Time. Jazztime.com is an online store that buys, sells, trades authentic luxury watches. We make these videos so our customers can easily choose the best watch for themselves in the comfort of their own home. If you like this watch, click on the link in the description below to buy it at the lowest price anywhere online. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Patek Philippe Complications World Time Yellow Gold Colonosi enamel dial reference 5231J-001. I'm going to talk to you about the bezel, the dial, the strap, the brace or the movement. Try it on and give you my thoughts. So let's start. This is the Patek Philippe complications and it's the world time. The world time has been made by Patek Philippe for a very long time. I want to say since approximately 1940. So it's about 80 years that they've been making the world time. Now, while it's quite simple in how it's done, it's quite an ingenious way to do it. The, the, this watch can tell the time zone in everywhere in the entire world. You see all the writing on the top here and that's going around the center dial where the hands are, that allows you to tell the time in different time zones. But the watch is very simple in the sense that it just has two hands, an hour and a minute that go around just like any other uh, 12 hour uh, watch. But the discs, they move opposing to the, to the hands such that the cities are all printed here on the edge so that each time it turns that the cities remain the same uh, ratio from each other, but it changes time. I'm not sure if that explains it the best, but basically it can tell the time in many different cities and you just look above to see the city okay or the city and the time okay now let's go talk about the a little bit about the history the the world time has been produced as i said for a very long time now this version of it the 5231 has it replaces the older version which was actually a little bit bigger in size it was 39.5 millimeters this one is 38.5 so it's only it's only one millimeter smaller, but uh, I can't even really tell. I've tried this watch on. I've I've uh, worn the five two three one, and to me the thirty eight millimeter it's a really perfect size. Even though in, in nowadays it might be seem a little bit small, but it really isn't because if you look at the size of it when I try it on, you'll see that it's a, actually just a perfect size. Okay, now. The older version was a little bit bigger, but I'm not sure why, uh, uh, but I actually think this one looks better than the bigger 39 millimeter. Okay, now 38 millimeters is just from the my thumb to my index finger, which is the eight o'clock to the two or eight o'clock to the two o'clock position, longest distance across the bezel. Now the bezel doesn't really have much to do; it's just a uh, a flat bezel, which is is good thing because it makes the attention, it draws the attention to the dial and to the beautiful enamel dial that that is done here, and instead of on the bezel. Now the world time comes in several different uh, materials and dial colors. It comes in white gold, it comes in platinum, it comes in yellow gold, it comes in rose gold, and it also comes in this very special one. And the reason it's special is because of the way that they make the dial. The dial is an, an enamel dial. Now a lot of dials are made, there's many different ways to make the dial, but there there's a a lacquer dial, which is a much cheaper way. It's kind of like basically painting it on. And then there's an enamel dial, which is much more expensive uh, way that makes the, the dial last basically forever where they bake the, uh, the paint into the dial. And then there's also like, if you look at the same world time in platinum, it has a Gila shade dial to it. Where, which just means like they use this giant machine. I've actually seen it before where they kind of carve out little parts to it. So it gives it a, uh, a textured look. It's a very long and 
a difficult process. It actually has to be done by hand, but it looks fantastic. Now, there's just many different ways to do it. Now, in this particular one, why is this one so special? Now, this watch is selling for around 100000 or more. Um, and by the way, if you want to buy it, click on the link in the description below to buy it at jazztime.com because you cannot buy it at the authorized dealer unless you have a massive sales history with them. And even then, you'll be waiting for a long time. But at jazztime.com, you can buy it immediately, which is why I have it sitting here in my hand because we're selling these watches. That's the whole purpose of me making this video so that you at home can watch it and decide that, hey, I want to buy this watch so you know where to buy it from. Okay. Now, what they, how they actually make this dial. Now, the normal version is only, I think it's like around fifty thousand or something like that. Fifty-seven. I don't know something, something in that range. Uh, but the this version, which the only difference is that it has this beautiful enamel dial, and they call it. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right. Clonosini. Closinoe, I don't know, something like that. You can look it up on on their website. I'm not French, so I don't, I don't, I can't say that. But they, what they do is they, the artisan marks the outlines of the continents with a thin gold wire, and then he fills those compartments with enamel colors, which reproduce the ocean and the land masses, and then he takes it and fires it into a enamel dial plate at high temperatures in a clin. Kill, kiln or something like that puts it in a, basically in an oven okay and he and he keeps on redoing that until he gets it just right which takes a really long time and in fact just the dial if you compare this version to the uh the non enamel dial the non uh painted world it's it's like forty thousand dollars less so uh that tells you how you know how amazing and difficult and beautiful this dial is at least that's how um, that's perceived on the secondary market. And in fact, all the world times that have the, the actual drawings and stuff like all go for a premium. I believe this watch as of 23 uh, retails around 92 K and it's going on the secondary market at jazz, jazz and others, uh, for, you know, over a hundred, somewhere in 110 or something like that, 105, I don't know, somewhere in that range. Okay. So, it does very well. And if you look at the other world times, they actually do less than retail because they're very rare that Paddock doesn't make a lot of them. They, and you, it's, you have to have a massive sales history in order to buy this watch. Okay. So it's pretty, pretty awesome. Now the dial depicts Europe, of course, because that's uh, where this watch is made on the, here on the right below that is Africa. And then to the left of that is the Americas which contain North and South America. Now you might be wondering what happened to Asia, which is a big part of the world, as well as Australia, which is the other uh, part of the world. Now, where is it? Well, they obviously could not fit all of it on this dial. So what do they do? It's such, they're so smart. They made the same exact watch in white gold and they put Southeast Asia and Australia into those into the other side so if you're asian or i don't know let's say you just like asia or you just like white gold and you're just like you know what they did not use the same map on different materials so or if you're just a real fan of of uh, the world time and you want to have both sides of the world you got to buy one in yellow and one in white not a bad deal right so anyways that's what's depicted on here now they've done other special editions they've done like new york they've done like some other places and put the skyline of it which i think is really awesome it takes a lot of work and and uh you know they're, they're unique they're unique watches you you rarely ever see these watches out okay all right anyways so that uh sorry did i say this was uh rose gold i'm not sure if i said that it's not rose gold it's yellow gold Okay, five two three one J J stands for yellow gold, not rose gold. Okay, so it's it's yellow gold. Okay, now I want you to look at the rest of this case. Now the case is not any different from any other five two three one case world time. But what I can point out to you, having worn this watch before, not this exact one, but this watch, the the five two three one, is that look at the lugs. I really like the lugs, the case. If you look at it, it has these like. Uh, I guess you call it faceted edge or a beveled edge on the lugs. It it has a it doesn't just go straight down, you know, and it kind of sticks out a little bit. It's just a I just think it's done very nicely, okay. And if you look at the side of the case, 
as well, if you turn it on a profile, the watch is not very thick. Now the watch is 38.5 millimeters in in uh, in uh, diameter, but in height, if you look at it on a side, it's only 10 millimeters, which is also another great profile size because it doesn't look too thick. It you know it just looks I don't know it just looks great. All right, anyways, so that's the the size or the case that is, and of course you see up in this upper left hand corner, uh, you can you can press the this button if you press it here what you'll see is the discs start to turn so i'll press them for you like this and you can see the discs start to turn and so what you could do is uh whatever city you're, you're living in or staying at you can set that at the 12 o'clock and you can put the the time correctly just make sure you select 24 which which of the 24 hours is on it's in 0 to 12 or 12 to, to 24 and then you can uh, see what time it is in any other city by just simply looking at that city and looking at the number that's pointing to it. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so that is the that's pretty much everything except the movement. Now the movement is a 240HU self winding movement. It is it has a diameter of 27.5. It has 239 parts, which is not that much, by the way. To, uh, you don't really see number of parts less than 239. And as I was saying, is not really a really complicated watch. Now, a complicated watch is going to have 600 parts, you know, a split second or something like that. A chronograph is going to have three, you know, 300 parts, something like that. So 200 parts is not a lot, and it doesn't even have a date on it. So it's not like this is a complicated watch. It's just that it was a very ingenious way of how they uh, have these discs moving. And also, it's just the design. And of, of course, the effort and work and craftsmanship that went into making this dial that makes this watch so uh, fantastic, expensive, and, and beautiful. Okay. Now, it has a power of 48 hours and a bunch of other cool things. You can admire the movement from looking at the case back and it has this micro rotor and i might also say this micro rotor is here i i wonder if they did that so that you can actually admire the movement because when the the rotor is is big you cannot actually see the movement because the rotor blocks it so i think it's pretty cool that they use this micro rotor and it's it, um strangely enough this tiny little micro rotor is enough to power this entire watch maybe because it only has 239 parts so okay well that brings us to the end of it. Let me try this watch on. And by the way, if you want to buy it, which is why we're making this video, click on the link in the description below to buy it at the lowest price anywhere online. Okay, so here are my thoughts. This is the king of the world time. There's nothing that tops this one. If you're a fan of the world time or like this style of watch, uh, then this is it. You can either get this one in... in yellow gold which you see here or in white gold i'm a real big fan of the uh, the world time I, I i like it i have one personally i think it looks fantastic uh although i don't have this one because to be honest it's a little bit expensive for me but i do have one in uh, another material and i i i like it a lot i just think it's a you know nice mix between a um a dress watch although it it is very dressy it's it still can be worn in a sort of a casual setting too if you swap out the strap for example like if you change it to a, a canvas strap okay or you just use a suede strap so it just looks fantastic now i'm 200 pounds uh i'm six foot tall and as you can see 38.5 is not make is not super small you, you might think oh it's too small i don't like it you know what 38.5 is still a good size you know how you can tell you see how you can see the head but you can also see part of the bracelet you don't want watches that are like all you see is head you want to have a little bit of the head a little bit of the bracelet it's a mix and that makes for a good looking watch now i guess i could say one small negative thing is that it's a little bit hard to tell at time because the hands are kind of small but that's not that big of a deal you can still tell and it's not really i would say the main reason for for having this watch anyways my thoughts are it's a fantastic watch and you know if you got 100 g's to spend and you want to you know blow it on a watch this would be a good one to go it's, it's not a lot of people have it it's fantastic it uh it's unique and you can only buy it at jazztime.com if you want to get it right away
If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount, so you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in jazztime plus the brand, model and the details you're interested in and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.